save a plate with contamination. First you want to identify the contamination. So this looks like possibly some spores that sprouted or some mold that's growing on the plate. So I'll just mark this so that I don't work in this area when I'm isolating the clean mycelium. Alright, so the cleanest part of the mycelium is going to be along the edge farthest away from the contamination. The mycelium will outgrow any bacteria or molds, so that's where we're going to take our culture. Use a sterile scalpel blade to cut the edge of the mycelium and transfer to a fresh auger plate and repeat until you get a clean mycelium culture. So here is that shiitake um, after four days on the plates. So we've got some nice clean isolated shiitake really excited to try this variety hopefully I can get a faster colonizer right now the one I take takes about six weeks so hoping for some speedy mycelium alright guys so here is that Boletus edgeless that I cloned and you can see there's some fresh mycelium that's coming out of the tissue so this is gonna be my target mycelium the only problem is that there's some trichoderma and penicillium forming around our target mycelium so we're gonna have to transfer this onto some fresh plates so it's much easier to save the fresh mycelium than to try to cut out the contamination um, because it's these are already sporulating whereas the uh, mycelium is relatively fresh and still intact so I'm going to carefully remove the lid and transfer that mycelium onto these fresh plates um, I don't have my flow hood turned on and I'm going to try to move really slowly to not disturb these spores So you can see that fresh mycelium right there. I'm gonna transfer that. All right, so hopefully we'll isolate that guy. And it looks like there is still some viable pieces on this one. It's really tough. Now I'm just going to label these. And hopefully we get some nice isolates. So this is 72 hours after this transfer and you can see we've got some clean Boletus edulis mycelium. Um, so as this grows out, I'll be expanding this onto more plates and getting it into a liquid culture. Alright guys, um, thanks for watching our video update on the Boli clone. Um, we got a few more varieties that we'll be working on over the winter. 
and um, hopefully we'll get this into liquid culture soon. So give us a thumbs up if you enjoy our videos. Share if you think that anyone else will find this content useful. Um, check out our Etsy shop, Fresh Fungi, for mycelium cultures. And we're going to be putting a lot more out in the next couple of months. Now that the markets are winding down, I can get back to the lab work and organizing all my liquid cultures, um, which is going to be very exciting. All right, guys. Till next time, much love.